Hello and welcome to the Tank Club. Today I'm just going to have a quick chat about elemental catalyst on a tank and why you don't want to be using this on a tank anymore. So in the past we've used elemental catalyst on a tank and that was partially because there was no other sets to use. So a couple of patches ago we had a situation where we, 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 we didn't have that many sets to use. So you'd have the main tank using Yolnacrin and Worm and then all of a sudden Worm became useless because there was a bug and we didn't realize it was a bug we just thought sustain had improved because it came after the patch there was a bug with minor magicka steel and so Worm cult just wasn't needed because people had so much resources that Worm was a complete waste of a set then what happened is they fixed Worm and they fixed the life steel bug the magicka steel bug and then sustain dropped a little bit so Worm became useful again but in that little time period where Worm wasn't useful we're like, well, what gear sets do we use? Elemental Catalyst came into the fold as a tank set. Now, the reason why tank can use Elemental Catalyst or could use it was because it was quite simple. You put down Blockade, you have a Shot Glyph, and you do a Fire Skill. Job done. Nowadays, that isn't possible. So there's only a couple of classes that can actually provide all three sources for Elemental Catalyst. So the Necro can do it. Uh, the Sorcerer can do it. Things like a Dragon Knight cannot because glyphs, weapon glyphs, do not proc status effects, all that kind of stuff anymore. So you cannot get the shock weakness on a Dragon Knight. It's not possible. There's not a shock skill. Uh, if you use, obviously, Engulfing Flames or a Fire skill and an Ice Blockade, there you go. The only way to do it would be to run two staves or to run something like that, where you run a Lightning Staff on one bar and a Frost Staff on another. Like There are ways, but it's not really that good to do so. So, in reality... It doesn't make sense to use it on a tank. Now, the reason why it's better to use Elemental Catalyst on a damage dealer is because a damage dealer can set up to efficiently do a rotation where they are constantly putting down or they've got dots of the correct weakness to keep a high up time. As a tank, you have to deal with mechanics and there is no way to avoid that. So if a boss is going to heavy attack you or you're going to do something, you've got to deal with that as the main priority and then your buffs and your skills come secondary. So if your uptime drops on Elemental Catalyst because you have to block a heavy attack and you've got to go onto your back bar to cast your blockade again and there's like a three second downtime, if that happens ten times in a fight, you've got a really, really uh, poor quality uptime. Whereas a damage dealer is not going to have those problems. So it's much more simple and easy to maintain Elemental Catalyst on a damage dealer because they work those skills into a rotation which they're maintaining virtually 100% or they should be. On a tank... There are lots and lots of different situations and mitigating circumstances that will happen that prevent you from maintaining that 100% uptime. So it's just not that good. Now there are situations where you can use it. So still now, you could use it in Asylum Sanctorium because things like Turning Tide are a bit inconsistent in that situation. So it's not the perfect set for that situation. However, you could use Turning Tide, but Elemental Catalyst is more like consistent. And it also means that you don't want to be playing uh, things like a Dragon Knight. You would want to play a class, if you're trying to optimize, you'd, you'd play a class that can maximize the EC uptime. But Elemental Catalyst on a tank shouldn't be something that you do anymore. There are too many tank sets with more on the way next patch that are going to be more beneficial than Elemental Catalyst. It's easier to maintain on a damage dealer. A damage dealer should be working EC into their rotation and naturally maintaining it. As a tank, you've physically got to remember you're going to be sometimes just not able to do it. So stop putting Elemental Catalyst on your tank, guys. It's not a set that tanks should be using, especially not anymore. I will take responsibility for the use of EC on a tank because I promoted it on my website for a while. I am partially responsible for the fact that people are using EC on a tank, but... I'm also trying to stop you from using it now because you shouldn't be using it. Like, it was always an optional set that you could use, but it's also a set that's not great for everybody. So if you're not good at micromanagement of gear, then obviously you're not going to use it. Like, if you're not somebody who can micromanage gear sets and skills and tanking and sustaining and healing and all the things that you need to do, then obviously using a gear set like Elemental Catalyst was never a good idea in the first place. And I think sometimes this is where, obviously, we have, like, these wires that are crossed and there's misunderstanding because there's different levels at which people tank and I try to give people different options but people will always look at the optimized option and not look at actually the level that they're playing at and that's not really 
like my my responsibility to make people aware of this the level that they're playing at. That is your responsibility to look at what is your level of tanking. Are you able to maintain these gear sets? If not, use something else. It's the same with Powerful Assault. If you're not able to maintain a good uptime of Powerful Assault, you might as well be using something else that's going to get a higher uptime, that's going to be more beneficial. And it's going to be the same all the time. And it depends on your skill level and your progression. And if you can practice and develop and get better and maintain those gear sets, then sure. But yeah, stop using Elemental Catalyst on your tank, use something else, and there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.